it's a, it's a very nice job. Uh, it took time, but uh, in the end, uh, we have seen the results. So, um, a, a city like uh, Suleja needs uh, projects like this. So, it will definitely improve economic activity here and it will reduce hardship of people having, uh, having to go to Zuba to travel to other places. So, in one location, you have your bus terminals, you have, your, you have warehouses. You have shopping mall, you have a hotel, you have restaurants. So I think it's perfect. Going forward, the road will be expanded. I think it should be expanded because um, uh, the population in Syria is increasing by the day. Uh, we have spaces for uh, build, operate and transfer businesses uh, comprising of pharmaceuticals, textiles, uh, electronics, uh, modern abattoir, etc. etc. I have lots of interest from people who want to take up these shops at the moment. It's going to be partially run by the government, just a little bit, but mainly it's going to be leased out to the private um, sector to run it. Um, but some areas, what we intend to do is that for the probably first one year, the government is going to run like the hotel and the terminal for about one year. And thereafter, we we'll, um, have a good estimate about how much the government is going to be making from there. And so that when we go into negotiations with those who want to take up the place, we'll be able to negotiate um, very well. So because they are aware that um, this is the turnover that we expect, this is the amount of funds that we expect, and so on and so forth. So that government can go into other things and not overstretch ourselves. And we believe that um, the private sector will run it.